Update. The revolutionary analysis of decadent bourgeois culture has revealed certain pornographic tendencies to be highly progressive. We are speaking, of course, about so-called interracial cuckold porn. This porn consists of a scenario in which a bourgeois male marry KKK and labor aristocrat is forced to watch his female property, wife, be raped, liberated, by black, ghetto, lump and proletarian. How is this progressive, you may ask? To be sure, interracial cuckold porn promotes hypersexualized racial stereotypes about African men, and even seems to encourage rape as a positive phenomenon enjoyed by women. However, a genuine Marxist analysis looks deeper. Interracial cuckold porn is in fact, entirely revolutionary. Cuckold porn is revolutionary because it attacks white male patriarchal capitalist supremacism at its psychosexual roots. Cuckold porn psychologically prepares the white bourgeois male for his own destruction and expropriation at the hands of Maoist third worldist liberation forces, just as the white labor aristocratic bourgeoisie of the first world should bow and surrender its property to the revolutionary third world proletariat, so, the cuckolded white male should kneel, and watch his female property, wife, be ravaged by big black cock, which is her own secret desire for liberation. The white master who raped and enslaved colonial peoples for centuries is now, in the age of Maoist Third Worldism, himself raped and enslaved. This is the progressive revolutionary message spread by popular artists like Candy Monroe and Black Dick's YHX. Maoist Third Worldists realize that such revolutionary opinions as ours may frighten and alarm petty bourgeois-minded labor aristocrats watching this in a merry KKK up. The feelings and sentimental sensibilities of such counter-revolutionaries are not our concern. We hope that all revolutionary people are inspired by our analysis of interracial cuckold porn, and will watch more of it for themselves in order to uphold and deepen its revolutionary potential.